you may have this big question why processor or why should I take some special efforts to understand the processor design if you want to create a generic hardware which can support and run different kinds of applications then processor could be the right solution how it works you take any complex electronic system basically it's composed of hardware and software we create hardware using a complex system on chip so this system on chip will have almost all the components needed for the electronic system and the processor is going to be the main component so whatever the applications we run all the applications will be converted into processor instructions and eventually all the instructions will be executed by the processor that's how the processor is going to initiate and do all kinds of operations look at smartphone let me explain how it works this iphone has got a complex soc could be a11 or a12 this soc has been built using arm core could be dual or quad core dual means two cores quad means four cores four processors obviously we need multiple processors to run multiple applications in parallel that's what the operating system does this iphone as operating system called iOS and there are different kinds of applications mobile apps like YouTube Google map or it could be a simple one like calculator so when I click on any particular mobile app for example calculator what happens the operating system loads the equivalent binary into RAM so this particular application has already been compiled into ARM instructions in terms of binary. It's called machine language and that's stored in the storage memory. When you click on this particular app, the operating system loads the binary into RAM and then it loads the starting address of the binary into PC, program counter. You take any processor, ARM Core, RISC-V or x86, every processor has a special register called program counter. So the starting address will be loaded in program counter and the program counter is going to increment sequentially. That's how the processor is going to fetch all the instructions from the memory. So the processor will fetch all the instructions from RAM and then it's going to execute all the instructions. That's how we do different things.